I got only two portals clean so far because he's still out there swabbing the decks and every time someone comes by he's got a chit chat. He's like a chatty Kathy. So now I'm going to attempt to put in one of the new screens. Okay, this is going to be like IKEA furniture. Look, it came with its own little like visual aid instruction sheet. So basically I have to... Oh. So I have to, it looks like I have to put it in from the outside and then I have to pull in some tabs or something. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, I figured out the screen. They're so easy and they're so nice. One thing I really like about them is they're dark in color. So basically they fit like under this rubber and it kind of sits in the groove of the, the frame of the window. And then these little things lift up so it like locks down in, I hope you can see that, over that little groove. So that same little, this metal like edge here is what these little tabs fit in. For all of you voters who need to change your screens, do this. These are really nice. They're Lumar. They're a really nice fabric-y screen. They're not those, I don't know, those crappy gray things. So these are really nice. And look at how nice that portal closes. No shoving it. Okay, well, I found Captain Merle. He's on the swim platform cleaning the stern of the boat. See that little ball? See that how nasty that water is in there? No wonder we couldn't see anything. So this is this panel, which it's in pretty bad shape. Um, so every time we turn it on, this pegs all the way over to full. When it's not, it's about half full. So I'm thinking it's just plugged in wrong. That's what I think. Okay. Here, let me see. You hold it still for a second longer so people can see it. That way you can always edit out any more than you have. I always do. There we go. Woohoo! Yeah, boy, they uh, spared no expense in the sealant. <laughs> We're going to have to replace all that. Obviously. So the question I have is... His general theory is it's wired wrong. Sure, because when you turn it on, it just pegs to full. So that's positive, that's negative, and that's just a dot. So now i got to figure out, this is where this red wire was hooked up on this side. Okay. So, and then the negative wire is hooked to the negative. So, what is going to be the negative result if I, that's for a light. What? Does the light work on that? I don't know. I've never been out at night, so I don't know. Oh. <laughs> well, it seems like it would come on during the day, too. Well, it probably does. Just that I don't don't know. Hmm? Oh, I wonder if that's bad. Well, if it is, it's burned out. Well, after 18 years, it probably is burned out. Um, so the question is, there's negative going to negative. I have to assume that's correct, but here's a negative and a positive. Well, these are actually hot, and it's going to the positive. <clears throat> so, and then this is the one coming from the probe back up. Right. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to turn the battery on real quick and tell me what happens. Oh, okay. Okay. It should still go all the way to full. Yes. So the question is, see that's a different size blade than that one, or is it? Where 
did that come from? Over here? No. Oh, yeah. Yes, it did. What's the other one back there that's not hooked up? It's the one I just disconnected. This one. No, back inside. Where? Reach around the other way. Look around the other side. It's a light bulb. Oh, another light bulb. So, with this disconnected... Okay. You're going to try it again? Yeah. Theoretically, it shouldn't work at all. Okay. Theoretically. Nothing, right? Nothing. Yeah, didn't even get a horn. No. Okay. Nope, no pegging to full. It stayed at zero. Okay. I'm just gonna get this one. Man, I'm starving. You just ate. I ate breakfast. <laughs> like it's it's like three thirty or something. Uh, Four o'clock. Are you recording? Yeah. What are you pointing at? You're you're like. It's looking a wide, at, it's a looking, wide angle yeah. camera. Alright, so that's the ground. Let's see what it does there. You can still see that, right? Yeah. Stayed at zero. Stayed at zero. If I disconnect this red one again, it'll go back to go back to full. Watch, I'll show you. Oops. Alright, let's see if that light comes on. I don't know if it will or not. Okay. Yes. So, if it's not wired incorrectly, then there's something wrong with the gauge. Monday, July 30th, we're back at the boat. We are, he brought over, what is it, a multimeter? Yeah. yeah we brought over a multimeter. It's supposed to be here anyway. He was supposed to be here, but he took it home. So, we're going to measure some stuff. We're going to measure the resistance to... across the sending unit. The resistance across the sending unit, which is on top of the tank. Okay. Oops. Okay, it's reading about what scale do I want to be on? Let's see. Should be about 45, 50 ohms. Is it 50 ohms? Yep. So it's zero to 90. Zero being empty, 90 being full. And I can't see because my light's gone. I need it on my uh, cage. <laughs> and we're reading 50 ohms which is about a half a tank of fuel. So the sunny unit is working fine. Ooh, I think I got all that. It's kind of crap quarters in there. But yes, we've confirmed that it is the gauge that is bad. So we're headed over to the boat just to kind of hang out. He's got some stuff he wants to do with the um, the gas gauge. He wants to put the new, we got the new gas gauge in. And as it turns out, um, it wasn't the gas gauge that was the problem. Then it's the actually sending unit from the gas tank. Um, and the problem was that Mr. Fixit was reading his multimeter wrong. So, anywho, um, I believe we're going to get a new multimeter for the boat. One that is easier to read, just in case. And